Okay, I arrived at the Parthenon. This place is exciting. It wasn't too bad to get here. It was only like a, I don't know, 10 minute drive from my hotel, which was nice. So yeah, I can already tell this place is huge, huge. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be walking up there. Uh, here it is right here. Inside here, there she is, way up there. Things huge. So, uh, just now leaving the Parthenon, which was an amazing experience. Really hope to get to see the original someday. But uh, yeah, now we're heading downtown, going to the Johnny Cash Museum and to the Country Music Hall of Fame Museum. So yeah, let's uh, go to those places now. Johnny Cash Museum was quite interesting. It was extremely crowded with a long line to even enter the museum area. The place of course had a no video policy, so here are a few photos I took instead. It was interesting to get a look into the life and times of Johnny Cash. The place was memorabilia heaven, from guitars to clothes to letters and more. This place had it all. One of the more interesting things I had forgotten and was even surprised about was the amount of movies and TV shows he starred in or had a part in. After visiting the Johnny Cash Museum, I made my way through the throngs of tourists in the hot summer sun to a place called Jack's Barbecue. The place was busy and the service was quick. The brisket was tender and juicy and the barbecue sauces had kick. After lunch, I headed down the street to visit the Country Music Hall of Fame Museum. Unfortunately, like the other places, they don't allow video inside. So here are a few photos of the tour instead. It's one of the world's largest and most active music research centers, and the world's largest repository of country music artifacts. There were plenty of recorded sounds to listen to, early vintage videos to watch, and interactive displays to play with. I learned a lot about the early history of country music, and even got to see the famous solid gold Cadillac that was built for Elvis Presley. at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Just got done with a tour. I'm wandering around. I head across the street. It's the Hall of Fame walk here. 
right across the street from the Country Music Hall of Fame. We eat over at uh, Hattie B's, which is a hot Nashville chicken, which is should be like right around the corner. So hopefully they're not too busy. I was gonna wait and eat there for lunch till lunch tomorrow, but uh, I don't know. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go get it for dinner instead. While standing in line at Hattie B's, some guy farther up in the line uh, actually passed out. I don't know if he passed out because of the heat or because he didn't eat, but the ambulance and the fire truck showed up to help the guy out. Overall, I stood in line for about an hour to get the chicken, and yes, it was some hot Nashville chicken. All right, back down at the park. I'm gonna go check out this John Siegler pedestrian bridge again. It's about sunset, so get some good sunset pictures. Mm -hmm. 